Hello all, I am Dr. Prabhas Sanjandal. In today's class, we will discuss about Mason Independent Code Optimization. Okay? Let's see. Mason Independent Code Optimization. So here we will discuss, means in today's class, we will discuss about the types of Mason Independent Code Optimization. Okay? This is my first code optimization. Uh, means machine independent code optimization method. Okay. The first one is common sub expression elimination. It is also called as redundancy elimination. Okay. So, common sub expression elimin elimination means what? Common sub expression elimination or redundancy elimination. Okay. There. This is one of my three address code. This is one of my three address code. Okay. See, so try to understand understand the three address code. T1 equals to A star B, T2 equals to C star B, T3 equal to A star B, T4 equals to T2 slash or this is division operation. T2 slash T3, T5 equals to T1 plus T4 and X equals to T5. Okay. So, the same T1 equal to A star B and T3 equals to A star B means both expressions, both expressions or both statements, both are same. Since both statements means T1 equals to A star B and T3 equals to A star B, means since both expressions or both statements are same so we can eliminate anyone so we can eliminate anyone either we can eliminate t1 or we can eliminate t3 that's why it is what common sub expression elimination common sub expression elimination okay if there are some common sub expressions exist in any three address code so we can eliminate we can eliminate so that's why the first optimization method is called as common sub expression elimination. Okay. Let's see. We just eliminate just what T3 equals to A star B. So we can write what T1 equals to A star B means we can keep this one. And T2 equals to C star D we can write. Okay. Here T4 equals to T2 plus T3. Let's see. Here we have already eliminated T3 equal to A star B. That means here we can write what? T3 equals to T2 divided by T1. T2 divided by T1. We can also eliminate, we can also eliminate this one because we don't need this one. Okay. So we can assign directly this X equals to what? Say T5. T5 we just assign here what? T5 equals to T1 plus T4. T1 means this one. T4 means this one. So we can directly write or means what? X equals to, then we can assign here X equals to T5. We can also write like this. Uh, let's see. Since it is a common sub expression elimination, we can write like this. Suppose here T5. T5 equals to T1 plus this t3 and then x equals to t5 we can write like this okay so that means since in this given in the given three address code there are means uh, there are means uh, both statements are common there are two statements like what t1 equal to a star b and t3 equals to a, a star b means both sub expressions are both statements are same so we can eliminate, we can eliminate anyone. Either we can eliminate T1 or we can eliminate T3. So this is my optimized, this is my optimized T address code. This is my optimized, we can say optimized, optimized T address code. Okay. So this is called as common sub expression elimination or we can say what redundant elimination or redundancy elimination both statements are means a star b both are redundant that's why we, we can eliminate anyone okay next we'll see
the next one. The second type of machine independent code optimization is what copy proposition. So what is the meaning of copy proposition? Let's say this is my given three address code. This is my given three address code. N equals to T1, here N equals to T1, then A of T2 equals to N. Here we have written how many number of statements? We have just written two number of statements. So we can directly assign what we can directly assign what this T1 in A of T2, just see. Here we just assign what T1 into A of T2. So this is called as what copy proposition. That means this code is called as optimized, optimized C address code. Okay. Next we'll see the third one or the third type of machine independent code optimization is called as constant folding. So what is the meaning of constant folding? Just see. This is my given three address code. This is my given three address code. Constant folding, just try to understand the definition what? Replacing, replacing an expression, replacing an expression that can be computed, that can be computed at compile time by its value, okay? Replacing an expression that can be computed at compile time by its value. Just try to understand the given example. Here, we just write in the first statement, we just write in the first statement what? Y equals to three star five. Three star five means it is a multiplication. Star means what? Star means this is a multiplication. This is multi Application. Okay, this is multiplication symbol. So we y equals to what? 3 star 5. Then z equals to y star 2 or y multiplication of 2 plus p. Let's say in my optimized code, in my optimized code, we can directly write what? y equals to 15. Because 3 into 5 equals to 15. And z equals to what? y into 2. Let's see, z equals to what? y into 2 plus p, y into 2 plus p. But we have already calculated what? y value equal to 15. That means 15 into 2 plus p. That means 30 plus p. So z is nothing but what? 30 plus p. So this is called as constant folding. So this one is my optimized. This one is my what? Optimized C address code optimized C address code. Okay, so this, this is called as constant folding. Next one we'll see. The fourth one, machine independent code optimization is called as what? Dead code elimination. So what is the meaning of dead code elimination? Just say, try to understand the given C address code. Given C address code. What? X equals to A plus B. X equals to A plus B. Then this is my first statement. Thus, in the second statement, P equals to Q plus R. P equals to what? Q plus R. Then we'll print what? Then we'll print this P value. We'll print this P value. Just say in my given, in my given three address code, we just print which value? We just print only P value. Means P equals to Q plus R. We just print P value. That means X equals to A plus B. This is one of my unnecessary statement because this X equals to A plus B. We, we don't use we don't use the statement means first statement. That means what X equals to A plus B. So we can optimize or we can directly remove or eliminate this X equals to A plus B. We can eliminate or that is called as what? Dead code. This first statement is called as dead code because we don't use the first statement. We don't use the first statement. So we can eliminate this code. In this code is called as what? Dead code and we can also eliminate. So in my optimized three address code, we just write what? P equals to Q plus R, then print P. We just eliminate this, the first statement or the dead code. 
so this is my optimized optimized c address port okay which is the next one strength reduction the fifth optimization technique or machine independent optimization technique is called as what strength reduction so what is the meaning of strength reduction let's see replacing replacing an expensive operator this is very very important replacing an expensive operator by cheaper one means if there is some expensive operator is given we can just replace this expensive operator by cheaper operator okay what is the meaning try to understand this is my given three address code this is my given three address code but x equals to y star b or y multiplication of two y star means what star means it is a multiplication symbol so we can also write what x equal to y plus y means both meanings are same just say x equals to y star two or we can write what x equals to y plus y just say let y value equals to five let y value equals to five so just calculate x equals to y star two that means y into two equals to what five into two equals to ten we can also calculate the c x equals to what x equals to y plus y that means what five plus five equals to ten means both statements means both meanings of the meaning of both statements always same so but this statement this statement means x equals to y start y start to this is expensive the means the computationally it is expensive expensive means it will take more time to execute this statement but x equals to y plus y this is cheaper this is cheaper okay so y plus y is cheaper as compared to y star 2 okay so this is my x equal to y plus y this is my optimized optimized c address code okay let's say some expensive operator or expensive operation or cheaper operation let's say x square x square we can also write what x star x so x square is expensive as compared to x star x and let's see 2 into x 2 into x is expensive as compared to what x plus x okay we have already discussed here okay and x divided by 2 this is the division operation x divided by 2 x divided by 2 is we can also write what x into 0.5 how we will write because x divided by 2 x divided by 2 is nothing but what half into x so half is nothing but half is nothing but what 0.5 into x so x divided by 2 is expensive as compared to what x star 0.5 okay so these operations are called as expensive these these operations or uh, these operations are called as what expensive operations and these operations are called as what cheaper operation so in the optimized code in the optimized code we will use this cheaper operation this cheaper operation or we can say the cheaper operator like this okay so this is called as strength reduction next we will see the sixth one algebraic the sixth one machine independent port optimization is called as what algebraic simplification so what is the meaning of algebraic simplification so this is my given c address code this is my given c address code what x equal to y plus 0 x equal to z star 1 or z into 1 or z mul multiplication of 1 so this is my given what optimized c address code optimized c address code so in my optimized c address code we can directly write what x equals to y plus 0 in my c address code or we can in my optimized c address code we can write what x equals to y so in the second statement what 
x equal to z multiplication of y. So we can also write what x equal to z. We can write like this in my optimized t address code. Okay. So this is called as what algebraic simplification. Okay. So in the next class or upcoming class, we'll discuss about on some another types of what machine independent code optimization. Okay. Thanks for watching.